Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have two patterns. Can you evaluate whose shadow part has a bigger area? The patterns are not simple enough. Obviously, we need to cut them, and calculate the area of each part one by one. Why not give a try? And we will come back soon. Let's first take a look at the red one. Even if you have not learned the trapezoid area formula, it doesn't matter. We can cut the yellow part and put it over there. Then you see the shadow part occupies three columns by four rows. So its area equals to 12. Now it is the yellow one. We can cut four small parts and use them in each corner. So this shadow part occupies four columns by four rows. And please don't forget to subtract the hole in the middle, which is two columns by two rows. So the area of this shadow part is 12 as well. The green one is just a little bit more complex. When we cut two parts and rearrange their positions, the shadow is still not a rectangle. Its area is in fact the rectangle, plus the two extra cells, and minus the hole in the middle. So it equals to 22. The blue one is even more complex. To solve it, we first fill a triangle below it. So now, the shadow part becomes a combination of two triangles and one rectangle. We can calculate their areas, one by one. The bottom left triangle. We use the aforementioned method. And get its area equals to 6. The top right triangle. With the same procedure. We get its area equals to 4. Then the easiest one, the rectangle. Its area equals to 12. Therefore, the total area is 22. Now we need to subtract the green triangle. By using the same method, we get its area is 20. So the area of the blue shadow is 2. Now let's summarize them. Their areas are 12, 12, 22, and 2, respectively. As a result, the shadow parts of the two patterns have exactly the same area. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.